Hello everybody, so two things today. Uh, the first one I'm just going to race through the uh, little bit of Beethoven ripoff from the uh, Mr. Brightside. And then uh, we're going to have a little look at Sweet Home Alabama. Um, so starting with Mr. Brightside, obviously we've got our capo on the first fret. I'm going to refer to all the other frets um, as if the capo wasn't there. So this is two, this is four, this is six. Okay, so we start by playing, we're all doing it all on the E string, bottom E string. We start by playing it with nothing on twice. Then we go fret 2, fret 4, fret 6. So that's nothing, nothing, 2, 4, 6. Okay, and then we come back down 4, 2, nothing. So the first run should go nothing, nothing, 2, 4, 6. Okay, so we'll give that a crack. One, two, three, four, nothing. Four, six, four, two. Cool. Okay, so the next bit of that run goes nothing, nothing, two, nothing. That's the first half. Then we move on to the B string and we go four, two, nothing, two. So that's E string, nothing, nothing, two, nothing, B string. Four, two, nothing, two. Okay, so I'll play that through. One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the whole run should go on the bottom string. Nothing, nothing, two, four, six. string, 4, 2, nothing, 2. So I'm just going to play that through four times at increasing speeds for the sake of practice. Here we go. Starting with our 1, 2, 3, 4. Try that again. 1, 2, 3, 4. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, last time, just a wee bit faster again. One, two, three. that to practice and we'll move on to Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama only has three chords, they go through the whole song. Okay, so they're D, C sus, or C add nine if you like, and a rock G. Okay, so the only one you might not have met is that C add nine on the C sus chord. If you start from your rock G position, it's with your middle finger on the third fret top string, index finger on the 2nd fret, A string, and then you've got your ring finger on the 3rd fret, B string, little finger on the 3rd fret, E string, that's your rock G chord. Now all you do is move your index finger and your middle finger down a string. So your middle finger will be on the 3rd fret of the A string, your index finger will be on the 2nd fret of the D string, and there we go. Um, so to change from that to the G, lifting those two fingers and vice versa. Okay, so the strum um, there's a different strum for the G than for the other two chords. So we'll start with the other two chords, the D and the C add nine. Okay, so it's just a down, 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 up, like in Jealous Guy. That's it. So it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, when we get to the rock G, it's just down, 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 up, up, down. 
So in slow motion, doing all three chords, we have the D. Down, 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 up, C. through it at that speed four times for practice. One, two, three, four. you've practiced it a few times at that speed, the trick is just to try and speed it up basically. So the song itself goes about this pace. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to go through that eight times at ever increasing speeds. So we'll start from... About that speed. With a one, two, three, four. A little bit faster. So I'll leave that with you for practicing purposes. So just going from one chord to the other and just work on getting your speed up. Okay, there's also a little picky bit that goes with uh, Sweet Home Alabama that goes... take you through that nice and slow and then I'll show you one little trick that will help you get it up to speed later on. Um, so starting with the first one, two, three, four, five strokes, we are holding our D chord and we're just hitting the D string twice and then we run down from the B string, G string to the D string. So we're going to go D twice, then B, G, Okay, so nice and slow it should sound like this. One, two, three, four. So that's one, two, B, G, D, just like that. One, two, B, G, D. Okay. Now what we do is we do a slightly lighter version of the C sus chord. The only fingers we actually need are our middle finger on the 3rd fret on the A string and our ring finger on the 3rd fret on the B string. Now the picking pattern is the same except we do those first two on the A string and then we do the same thing, so B, G, D with the picking fingers. So we're going to go two on the A string should go try that again so two on the A string and then B G D just like that okay 
Uh, so we'll try doing those two together, remembering we're holding our D chord and we're hitting the D string twice. Then B, G, D. Then we're going to put our sort of softened version of the C sus chord on. And we're going to hit the A string twice. And B, G, D. Try stringing those two together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. one is lift our middle finger up onto the top string so it's on the third fret of the E string and we do the same picking pattern except this time we're hitting the top E string so same thing two on there and then one two three so that will be So running those three together, we've got the D chord, and we're plucking the D string. C sus, and we're hitting the A string. And budget kind of a G chord, and we're hitting the top E string. Okay, so all three should sound like this. One, two, thing to do is okay so to play that bit two three four five six notes there are the first one is just a string with nothing on then we play a string with our index finger on the second fret okay so those are our first two notes we do exactly the same thing on the D string so open D and then index finger on the second fret Okay, so those are the first four notes. Nothing on A, second fret on A. Nothing on D, second fret on D. Okay. Okay, the last two notes are nothing on D again. And then with our middle finger, we go onto the third fret on the A string. So it's nothing on A, second fret on A. Nothing on D, second fret on D. Nothing on D again. Thing should go. I'll do that three just a couple of times for practice sake. One, two, three, four. So the way that fits in is we have our D there, and our funny C, and our funny G. So I'm going to play through that four times just for the sake of practice. Here we go. One, two.
eventually the speed we want to get up to is about... It's fine to start out at the speed we're going and then just work your way up. One thing you'll find is when you get up to full speed... That bit with the full picking can be quite a challenge. So there's a trick that we have called a hammer-on which enables us to play things a little bit faster without having to pick the string every single time. In order to do a hammer-on, basically we hit, say for example we're doing the first one where we're hitting the A string and then we're going to the second fret on the A string. If you hit that string with the pick and then just slam your finger down really hard on that fret, it'll make the noise for you, so you don't have to pick it twice, you can pick it once and then you play the, <coughs> you play the second note just by hitting your finger on, so that's why it's called a hammer on you're hammering onto the string what that enables you to do is to play notes quite fast without picking them so for example if I was to pick that it's quite a lot of work for my right hand, if I do it with hammer ons I only have to pick three times to play six notes Okay, and so the way we do that in slow motion is we do a hammer on for this nothing to two fret here, we do a hammer on for this nothing to two fret here, then we pull this finger off, that makes that string make a noise, and then when we put this third finger down on the third fret, that's when we have to hit the string again to make a noise. Okay, so I'll practice that in slow motion. We're going to go A string open to second fret A string, and that's it. We're just going to practice four times going, hit the string, smack it with your finger. So it should make a noise even though you're not picking it. So try that four times. One, two, three, four. Cool. Now we can do exactly the same thing on the D string. So we're going to hit the D string and we're going to slam that finger down on the second fret. So do that four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the next step, we're still on the D string, we're still going to go onto the second fret. The next step is to roll that finger off so it makes a noise. So we should be able to go nothing, slam that finger down, so we'll get three notes, one, two, three, and we'll only pick once. So we're going to pick, hammer on, pull off like that. So we'll do that four times. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, so we should now be able to go... That's five notes, one, two, three, four, five, and we're only picking twice, one, two, like that. So in slow motion what we're doing there is we're hitting the A string, we're slamming our finger down second fret A string, we're hitting the D string, slamming our finger down second fret D string, and then rolling it off. Okay, so we should be able to make this noise, with just two picks. So we'll try that, one, two. is just to hit the third fret with our middle finger on the A string. So after we've done that, we pick with that finger down there. So it should be a total of three picks. One, two, three, like that. And the rest of the time we're just hammering on and pulling off. Okay, so I'm going to run through that four times. Don't worry if it doesn't come straight away. While you're practicing you can still play this is just a good thing to practice because it'll help you once you get your speed up. So we'll go through four times going hammer on, hammer on, pull off, and pick. Like that. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Oh, 
So in context, that should sound like this.